This video pairs with Program Evaluation Worksheet 3. It's much shorter than the others, largely because to this point, you've done most of the work. Just like in policy analysis, the majority of the work is in setting up the evaluation. By the time you've collected your data, you've already determined what it means. This step should be taken seriously, however, as it's ultimately what the client will be looking for, and your interpretation could have serious implications for the program going forward. Your interpretation of your findings must be based on the evaluation you set up, and you should be prepared to defend your findings. You will use the data from the sources you've already identified. These are the results of your evaluation. It's important to show this data before drawing any conclusions from it. You want to be completely transparent. Now you're ready to begin your interpretation. Where does the data fall in relation to your predetermined parameters? Does it fall in the positive, neutral, or negative range for each? Answer each of your evaluation questions using this knowledge. Now that the evaluation questions have been answered, you should interpret your findings. What do the answers to your evaluation questions mean? What are the implications? And what would you tell the client based on what you found, keeping in mind your evaluation objectives? Finally, can you make any recommendations? This is the end of the process of program evaluation. You'll use the responses from your worksheets to develop an executive summary just like you did with policy analysis. Good luck.